Inside the high security confines of a military sanctioned research lab, a tiny rat unwittingly ventures into a cage, seeking nourishment, but instead becomes the prey of an unseen predator. The invisible creature only reveals itself when the rat's blood stains its sharp fangs. Meanwhile, Dr. Sebastian Kane toils tirelessly in his apartment, working overtime to develop a formula that could reverse the revolutionary procedure of invisibility. In a momentary break from his work, he finds himself captivated by his attractive neighbor in the building across the way as she changes her clothes. Sebastian's eager anticipation turns into disappointment when the woman draws her blinds, cutting off his view. Frustrated, he paces around his apartment until a breakthrough idea strikes, prompting him to immediately test it on his computer. Immediately after, Sebastian contacts his colleague and former flame, Linda McKay, to share the good news. During their video call, he notices a man on Linda's bed and asks about him. But Linda quickly deflects the question, asserting that her love life is no longer his concern. After demonstrating the breakthrough formula to Linda, he asks her to reach out to their colleague, Matt Kensington, to prepare the gorilla, Isabel, for a live test. Following their call, Linda wakes up Matt and urges him to rush to the lab because Sebastian has finally cracked the code. She suggests they arrive separately to keep their relationship discreet from Sebastian. Matt hints that they will eventually have to tell Sebastian, and Linda assures him that she will do so when the time is right. Upon reaching the lab, Matt heads directly to Isabel's cage to sedate the invisible gorilla. Unfortunately, Isabel scratches him and escapes. As Matt chases after her, he runs into Sebastian in the hallway. Armed with a tranquilizer gun, Sebastian initiates a friendly wager, saying he'll be the one to capture Isabel first. With the gorilla cornered, Matt attempts to shoot her with the tranquilizer, but he completely misses. In a swift follow-up, Sebastian takes a shot and successfully knocks Isabel unconscious. Dr. Sarah Kennedy, the lab veterinarian, abruptly enters and confronts Sebastian about administering the untested formula to Isabel. Despite Sarah's objections, Sebastian defends his decision, claiming that bypassing the tests will save valuable time. Linda interrupts the argument, announcing that the lab is ready for the experiment. The team proceeds with the injection process, and as the serum courses through Isabel's veins and reaches her heart, the astonished researchers witness the incredible sight of her vital organs becoming visible. However, Isabel soon starts thrashing in agony, her blood pressure and heart rate escalating rapidly. The situation quickly deteriorates into cardiac arrest and Isabel flatlines. Linda frantically uses a defibrillator to revive the gorilla and eventually they manage to stabilize her condition. As her condition stabilizes, Isabel's body gradually becomes visible. The team rejoices in their achievement, celebrating their success over dinner at a posh restaurant. During a private moment with Linda, Sebastian reminisces about their past romantic involvement, hinting that he desires to rekindle their relationship. However, his hopes are dashed when he realizes that Linda is not receptive to his advances. Days later, Sebastian stands before an oversight committee at the Pentagon to present his findings. To Linda and Matt's surprise, Sebastian confesses that he was unable to reverse the procedure successfully. He reassures the committee that the research team is on the verge of finding a solution, but requires additional time. Dr. Howard Kramer, Sebastian's former mentor, commends his intelligence and determination, while warning him that the government could easily replace him if he fails to produce results promptly. After their meeting with the oversight committee, Sebastian discloses to Linda and Matt his reluctance to inform the military about their success, fearing that the government would take control of the project and suppress their groundbreaking discovery. Instead, he proposes a bold plan to conduct a test on humans without the government's knowledge. Matt reminds Sebastian of the ethical rules and procedures they must follow, but the ambitious scientist argues that adhering to conventional protocols will hinder their progress. He persuades them that taking matters into their own hands will increase their chances of receiving the prestigious Nobel Prize for their revolutionary work. Back at the lab, Sebastian addresses the rest of the research team, informing them that they have obtained clearance to proceed with human testing, with him volunteering to be the first subject. Despite sensing hesitancy among the team members, Sebastian emphasizes their successful track record in bringing back seven apes over the past four weeks. He firmly believes that human testing is the logical next step to propel their project forward. The day of the procedure arrives, and as Sebastian lies on the operating table, he receives the serum from Linda, 
who is hesitant but agrees to support his decision. Sebastian injects himself, feeling a peculiar tingle in his arm as his skin begins to vanish. The pain becomes overwhelming and his heart rate becomes erratic. Carter Abbey, the emergency medical technician, rushes to his side with a defibrillator. However, just as they are about to administer a shock, Sebastian's heart rate stabilizes, even though he writhes in agony. After losing consciousness, he wakes up after 17 hours, the brightness around him overwhelming his senses. Struggling to adjust to his invisibility, Sebastian realizes that he can no longer shut his eyelids, making his transparency apparent to the world. Curious, he checks himself in a mirror and proceeds with Matt and Linda to the lab to showcase his remarkable transformation to the rest of the team. Later, Linda assures Sebastian that someone from the team will stay with him for assistance and the others will remain on alert, ready to return to the lab within 30 minutes if needed. As Sarah peacefully sleeps, Sebastian quietly approaches her, gently running his fingers through her hair to check if she's awake. Soon, he begins to unbutton her shirt, engaging in inappropriate actions. When Sarah wakes up, she notices her shirt partially undone and becomes suspicious of someone's presence in the room. Searching the surroundings, she glances at the monitor, revealing that Sebastian is not in his own bed. Swiftly, he returns to his spot and pretends to be lying down, concealing his actions. The following morning, Sarah expresses her suspicion that Sebastian might have done something inappropriate to her while she was asleep. However, uncertain of the incident, she advises Linda and Matt not to confront Sebastian just yet. When questioned about his absence from his room, Sebastian nonchalantly explains that he went out to grab some coffee. Three days after the procedure, the team prepares for the reversal process. As Matt administers the serum, Sebastian starts breathing heavily, signaling that something is amiss. He thrashes wildly on the table, breaking free from the restraints, and despite Matt and Carter's efforts to subdue him, he manages to throw them aside and momentarily becomes visible. However, he soon collapses, unconscious, but still invisible. After the frightening incident at the table, Linda is alarmed to discover that Sebastian's pulse is no longer detectable. Reacting swiftly, Matt springs into action, performing life-saving CPR to revive him. Miraculously, Sebastian's pulse gradually returns, and his body becomes invisible once again. Upon regaining consciousness hours later, Linda informs him about how he was about to die. Realizing the need for adjustments to cope with invisibility, Sebastian and Linda collaborate on creating a latex mask that will make him visible when moving around the lab. Over the next few days, Matt desperately explores ways to reverse the procedure without endangering Sebastian's life. However, Sebastian's frustration builds as he undergoes numerous tests and feels confined to the lab. One night, unable to contain his longing for freedom, he decides to venture out while Carter is the lone guard at the lab. Despite Carter's attempts to stop him, Sebastian slips away, prompting Carter to alert the rest of the team about Sebastian's escape. On the road, Sebastian encounters two children in a car and decides to have a bit of mischievous fun by showcasing his empty eye sockets. Concerned about Sebastian's actions, Linda heads to his apartment while Matt remains at the lab. Back at his apartment, Sebastian notices his neighbor changing clothes in the next building. Tempted by his invisibility, he decides to explore the opportunity to observe her up close. With hesitant excitement, he rings the doorbell repeatedly until the woman opens the door. Once she returns inside, Sebastian watches intently as she combs her hair. Playfully, he moves the mirror, causing the woman to panic and look around the room. As she turns away from him, Sebastian crosses boundaries, forcing himself upon her in a disturbing encounter. Shortly after, Linda arrives at Sebastian's apartment and finds his mask and clothes strewn on the bed. Unaware of his reprehensible actions, she leaves the apartment and Sebastian waits for her to leave before going back to his place. Back at the lab, Frank Chase distributes tranquilizer guns to the team members who are now on a mission to locate Sebastian outside. When he returns to the lab, Sebastian claims that he merely went home to get a few things. In an effort to address her growing concerns about Sebastian's mental state due to prolonged invisibility, Linda discusses the issue with Matt. During Carter's physical tests on Sebastian, he shockingly admits to messing with a woman outside and loving it. Days later, Matt contacts Linda to share a breakthrough in their efforts to reverse the procedure. However, the process fails during a simulation at the lab. Further fueling Sebastian's frustration, he talks to Linda, lamenting his inability to utilize invisibility freely and feeling like a captive in the lab. 
Linda reassures him that he is not a prisoner, but Sebastian points out the stark contrast between their situations with her enjoying freedom while he remains trapped in invisibility. Fueled by jealousy and obsession, Sebastian decides to take matters into his own hands. He manipulates a piece of electronic equipment at the lab, installing it in his room's camera to create a video loop of himself sleeping on the bed. He then makes his way to Linda's apartment and discovers her involvement with Matt. Enraged, he interrupts their intimate moment by breaking a window. Distraught, Linda calls the lab to inquire about Sebastian's whereabouts, and Frank assures her that he is still in bed. Sebastian returns to the lab, consumed by jealousy and frustration. The relentless barking of an invisible dog in the lab irritates him, pushing him to grab the animal and slam it against the cage walls until it dies. When Sarah confronts him about the dead animal, Sebastian lies, claiming to have been asleep during the incident. The security footage, however, reveals that Sebastian never left the room. Meanwhile, Linda experiences disturbances at her home, hearing strange noises throughout her room. Troubled by this, she rushes to the lab to see if Sebastian is there. Although the video monitor shows him lying in bed, she cannot find him in his room, leaving her puzzled and concerned. Realizing the deceitful video loop, Linda urgently contacts the entire team to return to the lab. Meanwhile, Sebastian lurks in the parking lot, discreetly observing the research team's arrival. Matt and Linda decide to report Sebastian's actions to Dr. Kramer, unaware that Sebastian has stealthily trailed them. As they leave, Sebastian cunningly attacks Dr. Kramer by the pool, violently drowning him. Dr. Kramer's desperate cries for help go unanswered, and he tragically succumbs to the vicious assault. Linda arrives at the lab the following day attempting to contact Dr. Kramer, only to find out he had drowned the previous night. When she tries reaching another oversight committee member, the phone lines abruptly disconnect. As Matt and Linda attempt to leave the lab only to find their access codes have been revoked and the security system has stopped working. While the team commences the search for Sebastian, Janice Walton, a lab tech, falls behind while grabbing thermal goggles. Suddenly, Sebastian materializes at the door and uses an IV line to strangle Janice, her screams drowned out by the screeching animals. Unable to locate Dr. Kramer, Linda uses the intercom to inform Sebastian that the committee already knows his dark deeds. In response, Sebastian coldly reveals that he killed Dr. Kramer the night before, eliminating any threat of exposure. The team soon realizes Janice is missing and employing thermal goggles. They discover her lifeless body in a locker. Desperate to stop Sebastian, Linda tells Frank to reinstate their access codes to activate motion detectors. While searching the corridors, Matt and Carter arm themselves with tranquilizer guns. Carter spots heat signatures behind the pipes, but Matt discerns it's coming from the vent. Taking advantage of Matt's distraction, Sebastian ambushes Carter from a ceiling pipe, resulting in a grievous injury and massive blood loss. Sebastian uses the heat from the pipes to obscure his thermal signature, making Matt's goggles useless. With the tranquilizers depleted, Matt wields a fire extinguisher to unveil Sebastian's location. Through the smoke, Matt manages to locate Sebastian, but struggles to land a hit. Despite landing blows on Matt, Sebastian's assault is halted by Linda's timely arrival, saving Matt from further harm. Sarah learns of Carter's critical condition and rushes to obtain blood from the walk-in fridge. However, Sebastian traps her inside, so Sarah covers the floor with blood to see his footsteps. When she attempts to confront Sebastian, he subdues her with a tranquilizer gun and ruthlessly breaks her neck. Shortly after Carter dies of severe blood loss, Frank anxiously waits for Sarah's return. However, upon discovering Carter's lifeless body, Frank decides to join Matt and Linda in their search for her. When they eventually find Sarah's lifeless form inside the walk-in fridge, Sebastian emerges, striking Frank with a crowbar. In the ensuing chaos, Sebastian proceeds to impale Matt in the lower chest with a metal bar, leaving both him and Linda trapped inside the fridge. Sebastian then heads back to his room to put on his mask and prepare for his escape. Resourceful as ever, Linda skillfully patches up Matt's wound using duct tape and ingeniously escapes the fridge using a magnetized metal drawer handle. With sheer determination, she pulls Matt out of the freezer, setting a fire nearby to keep him warm. In the meantime, Sebastian gathers a stockpile of chemicals, intending to create an explosive that will obliterate the lab and obliterate evidence of his heinous crimes. Pouring the chemicals into a centrifuge, he sets the timer for five minutes before making his way to the elevator. Linda bravely confronts Sebastian at the lift's entrance, wielding a flamethrower that sets him ablaze. <laughs> With the elevator doors held open, 
Linda continues to unleash flames upon him. However, Sebastian manages to escape the fire by turning invisible again, leaving his scorched clothes behind. Undeterred, Linda activates the sprinklers, using the remaining fuel from the flamethrower to make Sebastian partially visible. He sneaks up on her and subdues her, but Matt intervenes, knocking Sebastian down with a crowbar. Sebastian gets up and attacks Matt, but Matt is able to fend him off, causing him to hit a fuse box and get electrocuted, which causes his body to become partially visible again. Discovering Sebastian's makeshift explosive, Linda and Matt rush to the elevator, hoping to climb the ladder to safety. As they ascend, the bomb detonates, causing the elevator to shoot upwards, scraping Linda's shoulder. However, it stops just before hitting Matt. As they resume climbing, Sebastian grabs Linda and they both fall onto the elevator, which is hanging only by a thick wire. While in a perilous situation, Sebastian steals a final kiss from Linda, to which she responds by using the wire to disconnect the elevator. As she hangs onto the wire, Sebastian plummets to his death down the elevator shaft. Emerging from the burning building, Linda and Matt find themselves amidst the efforts of firefighters trying to extinguish the flames. Reflecting on Sebastian's behavior throughout the experiment, they acknowledge that his arrogance and competitiveness were already challenging traits. However, these undesirable qualities escalated after he became the test subject of his own invisibility experiment. He mistreated Sarah on the first night of invisibility, grew agitated by the confinement in the lab, and broke protocol by leaving without permission. Moreover, his dangerous obsession with Linda, his jealousy leading to the death of an innocent dog, and his ambition to cover up his crimes through an explosive plot showed the extent of his dark nature. Fortunately, Linda and Matt's intervention prevented Sebastian's destructive plans from succeeding. Without their courage and determination, Sebastian could have won, 